So everything I'm talking about floating point types works. It's actually slightly different from what the IEEE standard does, and so I'm going to explain the differences between what I've taught you and the IEEE standard. It turns out there's really not much, um, but it's important to understand. So, so let me let me show you. Um, say in RAM we have this mantissa, and we have one one zero one one, and then the rest are zero. So. So you would think, because of what I taught you, that the mantis would be 1.1011, which would be a good assumption, except IEEE does something slightly different. IEEE, before all the digits that you see in the mantissa, they assume a 1 before it. Meaning, let me just get rid of this floating point number for now, they assume another 1 and then they put the floating point. Now, when I first saw this, I questioned it, I wondered about it, da, 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 da. and I'm not exactly sure why they do this, except I have a hunch, and I think my hunch is pretty good, so I'm going to explain my hunch. Um, if we look at any binary value, such as this mantissa, every digit I add to it, either a one or a zero, the more digits I have, the more I can store. So every digit that I add doubles the range of values that I can represent. And so just, I think what they're doing here is they're trying to squeeze just one more digit out of this mantissa. And in base two, we can do that. And I'll tell you why. If this was base 10, meaning every single one of these digits could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth. Well, we couldn't do that trick because we could not assume anything about the value of that extra digit. Meaning if I, I can't assume it's a 5, I can't assume it's a 6 or a 7 or an 8. There's there's 10 possibilities and I can't assume anything. But in binary, there's only two possibilities. There's a 0, which would add no value whatsoever, and there's a 1. So I could assume that there's one more 1 right up here, but right above all the other digits. And if I do that, that gives me 1 more binary value that I can reach. So whenever you see a mantissa, you need to remember that there's this implicit one and then the dot. So it's not one dot one, meaning between these two digits, it's actually dot one and then there's an assumed one above that. So so really this this part I have in, in my mantissa here is what I have down here. And then I assume the one and According to Jamie King's hunch, we're just trying to squeeze uh, one more bit into our representation, and for the for the, it works. So.